GIM 400 is the Global Input Output Manager that works in conjunction with the Global 400. The Global 400 Process Monitor Controller organizes workers and up to 16 tools. It also manages up to 100 jobs and 100 parameters. The Global 400 receives direction from the MES via the Ethernet and it speaks both Open Protocol and Ethernet IP. In this short video you'll see how these two units work together to provide highly effective error proofing in assemblies where torque hand tools are required. But the focus is on the GIM 400. When people first see the GIM 400 they often ask about the two rows of lights that are on its face. Used in conjunction with Global Manager software, the GIM 400 is virtually a Windows-based configurable PLC that works with the Global 400. All assembly situations are different. In this case, we're working with a hardened process that requires stronger tool control. So we've connected the GIM 400 to a tool tray. Job and parameter information is stored in the Global 400 and it is brought up by commands from the MES. That information can also be brought up locally using a barcode scanner. When the job and parameter information is brought up in the Global 400, it remains in a suspended state. At this point, the GIM 400 face lights the output LED that corresponds to the active parameter. It then signals the light for the tool tray that corresponds with the tool that's associated with the active parameter. If the operator selects the wrong tool, the Global 400 remains in the suspended state and no work can be accomplished or documented. When the worker selects the appropriate tool, the tool tray tells the GIM 400 that the correct tool has been selected and the input LED on the face of the GIM 400 is then illuminated. Because the operator has the correct tool in hand, the Global 400 screen changes from a suspended state to showing the active parameter information including tool, batch count, and where they are in the process. The operator goes to work. Both the tool and the Global 400 provide the operator with visual and auditory feedback about each fastener. When the batch is complete, the Global 400 locks and returns to a suspended state. The tool must be returned to the appropriate place in the tray, but the Global 400 will remain suspended. Put a different tool in the tray and the GIM 400 keeps control and will not release the completion message to the Global 400 until the tools are back in the right place. Once that happens, the MES can signal the Global 400 and the operator moves on to the next parameter or the next job depending on what directions the MES has provided. This video has literally just touched the surface of the capabilities of the Global 400 and the GIM 400 error-proofing power duo.